Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is uh, September 9th of 2021. It's 1.10 p.m. I just got an install of the new Windows build KB5 5642 it's a Windows 11 insider build and we're going to look together to see what if anything it is first of all this is let's see uh, Windows 11 little presentation all your favorite favorite content all in one place uh, level up with over 100 games with the that must be the game pass or whatever I don't have any game machine to play with don't want to catch up on everything you care about in a swipe instantly connect with anyone anywhere and any way I'm not sure I want to do that, except with you all. Uh, organize life in a snap. I think that's where things, let me check, click this and go, let's see. Refocus how you do things with snap assist. With just a few clicks, you can quickly, easily, and effectively organize all of your windows at once to maximum screen size. Designed with multiple configurations that can remember how you like things with and without a second monitor. It's a smarter way to multitask right at your fingertips. I guess I should check that, you know, out. I look kind of goofy with it raised up like that. Uh, okay, shop devices powered with Windows. Shop below to get closer to what you like or click to explore more about Windows. So they have an HP NB13. Free upgrade to Windows 11 when available. Windows 10 Home. Micro Edge. FHD IPS display pin enabled. I don't have a uh, laptop of any kind, by the way. I've got some tablets. I mean, uh, well, with those little Amazon tablets, I think I got a couple of those which I never use. Other than the cell phone, I think that's it. See, there's an HP Envy X360. Uh, also, okay, these are all laptops, aren't they? I think. Oh, here we go. Nope, these are laptops. Wow. I think those are laptops, aren't they? I guess they're pushing laptops. Can I go back to where I was and continue with the, no, they don't want you to go back. They go back to the top, I guess. Oh yeah, you can do this. Okay, so they have new, okay, I think that, I think that was their presentation. Okay. Okay, Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, Preview Beta Build, and uh, they have it, you know, listed as 22000.184, September 9th, and today is September 9th, and it says, Hello, Windows Insiders. Today we are releasing Windows 11 
Insider Preview build 22000.184 to the beta channel and commercial PCs in the release preview channel. Okay, it says read more. I wonder if this, if this is, I think it is, I'm guessing. I think this release is, well, we'll find out when we click this next page. I think this is going, that this release is the Windows release that's going to be the Windows release, like what, next month, the 5th or something or other, is when uh, the Windows goes out, that that's going to be on new computers that have time to get it on. Or if you buy a computer and it says, you know, Windows 11, they, I guess they give you a uh, uh, something, what, a DVD or a place to download. So I think this is going to be, so let's see what it says here, because I actually haven't been here. I'm not doing this for, for theatrical purposes. Hello Windows Insider. Today we are releasing Windows 11 Insider Preview Build uh, 22000.184 to the beta channel. Okay, let's see. Fixes. General. Fixes an issue with the new Learn More Info in O O B E about Windows Hello. Wasn't transferred what well, wasn't translated for non English speakers. Fixed an issue where a small set of languages were missing. I barely speak English, so it doesn't matter to me. I'm sure it matters to, you know, matters to a bunch of people. Like the people in the UK who don't, you know, speak proper English because, you know. We invented English here, you know. Uh, known issues. We're investigating reports from the insiders in the beta channel where after upgrading to Windows 11, they are not seeing the task, not seeing the new taskbar and the start menu doesn't work. To work around this, if you are impacted, please try going to Windows Update, Update History, Uninstall the latest cumulative update for Windows and the reinstall it by clicking for updates. Okay. Uh, we're working on a fix for an issue that is causing some Surface Pro X's to bug check. Okay, I don't have a, I can't afford a Surface Pro. I think that's the ones that are really nice, by the way. Start. In some cases, you might be unable to enter text when using search from the start or the taskbar. If you experience this issue, press the Win key plus R on the keyboard to run the dialog box, then close it. System and window terminal is missing when right-click on the Start Win X. I'm not going to do any of these things, by the way. Might get disconnected, you know, I'm recording this. Might get disconnected. Um, so what else do we have here? I mean, um, Okay, taskbar. The taskbar will sometimes flicker when switching input method, uh, method search. After clicking the search icon on the taskbar, the search panel may not open. If this occurs, restart the Windows Explorer process and open the search panel again. Search panel may appear as black and not display any content below the search box. 
widgets. The widgets board may appear empty. To work around the issue, you can sign out and then sign back in. Widgets may appear, may display in the wrong size on external monitors. If you encounter this, you can launch the widgets uh, touch or the window X shortcut on your actual PC first and then launch. Like I said, I'm afraid to do any of these things. Uh, in the background on my uh, Ubuntu computer, uh, that's Windows Weekly from Twit. I just started watching it. I think it's released every Wednesday, I believe. And today I think is the Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. Okay. Um, the widgets. I think I mentioned that. Up. I know. Put. I'll put the link to these things so you don't have to. Uh, okay. Windows Sandbox. Within Windows Sandbox, the language input switcher. I'm not going to read through all these things. Uh, let me just see if there's anything. Well, this is the last one. Let's see. To learn more about how we made Windows 11, click here. You can check out our Windows Insider program documentation here, including a list of all the new features and updates uh, to build so far. Submit feedback here. If you want a complete look at what build is in the insider head over to the flight hub okay so I think that is I think that's it so I could actually probably have hit some of these keys and and uh, so that's it um, Let me think here a little bit. So, I'm recording this uh, with uh, Manicam. I only have one camera hooked up. That's the uh, Avir Media. I really like that. Uh, I have a couple. I have, well, I don't know. I'm more than a couple. I have, uh, okay, I think the, I think that's a C64 camera on that. I have laying here someplace the uh, uh, Logitech Brio, but a couple times when I've hooked it up, uh, and I don't know whether that's uh has nothing to do with it at all, or if it does have some, uh, instead of getting, uh, well, the audio has been out of sync a couple times, and I'm thinking because I have both cameras hooked up, maybe that's just a little too much. Uh, so I'm just going with one camera now until I can figure out that. I would like to have, you know, multiple cameras, and we'll see how that goes. I think that's it. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching.